Happy Friday! Happy Friday fun! Boys and girls, this message is for you tonight. It is Friday, August 2nd, 2019. Some of you may already be in bed and some of you might be getting ready for bed, but we wanted to send a little message for you tonight. And this message is called The Giver and the Gift. And there is something exciting about presents, right? We all love getting presents. But do you love giving presents? Did you know the Bible says it's more of a blessing to give than it is to receive? And some of you might get presents at birthdays. And some of you might get presents at Christmas time. And it's so much fun for you to know that you're going to wake up in that morning and there's going to be something for you to open and you just can barely go to sleep at night, right? We know what that feels like. We feel that way sometimes ourselves as grown-ups. Did you know that? Actually, the giver, the giver of the gift waits with anticipation. That means they can barely wait to see your reaction when you open up your gift because they know what they gave you, but you don't know what that gift is. It's kind of like this. Let me just show you. I have a present right here. And I know that the person who gave this gift knows what's inside, but I don't know what's inside. And so if I was to give this gift to one of you, then I would be the giver and you would be the one who receives the gift and you don't know what's inside yet. But the giver cannot wait to see you open your gift. Why? He already knows what's inside, but you don't. I want you to see something. God, our heavenly father is a giver and he loves to give. In fact, that's part of what he does. He gives. He gives life, and he gives the gift of eternal life. And it's a special, special gift. And gifts have to be received. And God knows what's inside the gift. He knows what the gift is. He knows the benefit of the gift. But we don't know completely. In fact, we don't even know our future. We don't know what tomorrow's going to be like. We don't know what 10 years is going to be like from now. We don't know what 50 years from now is going to be. But God does. He's the giver. He's the creator. And he knows everything about you. And he knows everything about us. He actually knows the end from the beginning. See, God is the giver. He knows what's inside of you. He knows what's in your mind, what you're thinking. He knows what's in your heart. And he knows when this and what you say and this line up and agree with each other. And he knows when this and this and this do not agree. And there's a difference, my friends. But God knows the plans that he has for you, plans to prosper you, plans for your future of good and not of evil. See, he knows and he wants us to line ourselves up with him so those plans will come to be the way God planned for them to be. And see, that's in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. He knows the gift. He knows the plan that he has for us. He is the giver. And he knows everything about what's inside that package. With us being the package, he knows everything he put inside of us. He knows our tomorrows, our future. He knows our abilities. He knows our talents. Even when we're still in mommy's womb, even when we're only a tiny little baby, even when we're a toddler, even when we're five years old starting kindergarten, even when we're going to middle school, God knows all those things about us before we even learn them. And the other thing is with God being the giver, he gave first. He gave us life and he gave us a chance for eternal life. And the Bible verse, for I wanted you to learn about this, is in John 3, verse 16. And it says, For God so loved the world, which means me and you and every person who is breathing. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus, 
that whosoever believes in Jesus will not perish, will not die, but will have eternal life. God gave Jesus as a gift to us, to you. And if you believe that Jesus is God's son, and you ask him into your heart, and you receive him as your savior, and also the Bible says in another verse that we need to ask him to forgive us. We need to tell him we're sorry. But when we do this, then we have the gift that God gave us of eternal life. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just love you. We thank you for being the giver. And we thank you that we learn about gifts, that you are the giver and Jesus is the ultimate gift. And you know what's inside. You know what you deposit in each one of these boys and girls. And you call it good. You call their future good. And Lord, we thank you that Jesus is the gift. And right now, boys and girls, if you have not received that free gift, if you haven't received that free gift of Jesus, let's ask him to come into your heart and receive him right now. If you believe that he's God's son, it's so simple. You just pray this simple prayer. Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus is your only son. And because I do bad things, my bad things had to be paid for. And you gave Jesus as the gift to take care of my bad things called sin. Please forgive me and receive me as your child. I believe you. I love you. And I want to be your child. I believe by this prayer that I am born again in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so remember there is a giver and there is a gift. God's the giver. Jesus is the gift. He knows what's inside of you even before you do. And he wants to use everything that he's made and put inside of you for his glory. Don't be afraid because Jesus will be right there with you every single day. That's it for tonight. Y'all have a blessed evening. We love you.